Got a little competition going here. In the future, I wanna be able to give away some cycling gear. This is when, you know, this channel's really starting to grow and I might be able to do some deals. With Your taco, mister. <clears throat> a message to my first 201 subscribers. Well, it was 201 when I created this video, if it's 202 or 203, to my first couple of hundred subscribers. This is a video to you to say thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot. I started this YouTube channel a couple of months ago, or just over, and to think I've got a couple of hundred people that have hit that subscribe button means a lot, and I'm really, really thankful. Whilst I'm here, I thought I would use this airtime for a couple of things. One is I wanna do a giveaway to you, so stick around at the end of this video. Hopefully it won't be too long, and I'll walk you through what that looks like. The second one is I've had a few people ask me similar types of questions offline, not on YouTube, sort of either over the phone or on different social accounts about what I'm doing on this YouTube channel. And those three main questions, which I'm gonna go through now are, so what's my primary goal? Like why am I actually doing this YouTube thing? And I sort of covered off on this a little bit with my first video to my first 100 subscribers, but a little bit more detail on that. What are my plans with content over the next two to three months? And I've had a few people asking me, did I get any unsubscribers from that enema video I did? So question number one, like what am I doing on YouTube? Like what are my goals on this platform? Now my first 100 subscribers will know, I explained in that original video that I got into YouTube and video through Bike Chaser. Bike Chaser is a business that I run. It's an online marketplace for bikes, mid last year. And for whatever reason, I just love the equipment. I love editing videos. I just love doing videos and I love doing the YouTube videos for Bike Chaser. And it became a real hobby. I was doing it in the evenings and I just doing it on weekends. I just couldn't get enough. So a couple of months ago or just over, I decided to start my own channel. And the primary reason was I just love making videos. It's just become a real hobby. So that was the original purpose. But I think longer term as well, uh, there, there are monetization goals. I would like to have on this YouTube channel. I mean, for now it's a hobby and it also synergizes really nicely with what I do with Bike Chaser, which I'll explain in a second. But the four primary ways that I plan to monetize this channel longer term is number one, advertising revenue. So once you hit a thousand subscribers and get a certain amount of watch time, you can have ads embedded into your videos. Now you don't make much money out of that unless you're getting millions of views on your videos, but it is a revenue model, so that's number one. Number two is merchandise. So when you hit about 10, maybe 20,000 subscribers is when you can probably sell some merchandise. So hats, mugs, t-shirts, maybe some kits, etc. But that's a while away. The third model is a getting brands to pay you to spruik a product or a service that you believe in that aligns to your audience. Once again, you, this is quite a while away, this one, brand deals. You need a about 100, maybe 200,000 subscribers, really for a brand to get good value out of doing a brand deal with you. And a brand deal might be a mention, you might use their products in one video or a series of videos, but the brand deal is a, a revenue stream. And the fourth model, and this is one that I will probably start working on pretty quickly, and one where I believe if you do it effectively, you can make your most money and also deliver the most value to your audience, and that's creating um, digital assets, so something online that you can make money out of, and that for me is online courses, and I plan to create a whole suite over the course of the next few years of online courses for road cycling. Now, I am no expert in road cycling, but I've got some expertise. I've been doing it now for just over 11, 10, 11 years. And I also know a lot of people with expertise in the industry. So I, I plan to blend my knowledge and expertise from others into a series of videos regarding training, regarding racing, etc. that I can deliver in a package, video tutorials and written content to you, the audience, enables you to get value out of some of the content that I am delivering external to YouTube because this will be on a different platform. And it also means that I can make some money through doing this YouTube thing. But for now, I just love this YouTube thing. It's a hobby. I love creating videos. I love I've got 200 subscribers that are engaging and watching my content. I find it really cool. And it also, as I said, synergizes really nicely with Bike Chaser because we create video content on Bike Chaser. So I'm doing less video content on the Bike Chaser YouTube channel now. I do a little bit mainly on mine and I can take videos that I've done on this channel and embed them into bike chaser content and that's good because you get better time on page when you do videos 
embedded into articles. And if you get better time on page, it's good for your SEO, you get better, more traffic, etc. So that's number one. Number two is content on this channel over the next couple of months. So no more fasting. I'm on the bike now, I had just over two weeks off the bike. So there's gonna be a lot more footage out on the road. I've got some good conversations lined up that I think you'll find insightful. One is Tommy Nankervis, local Criterium legend. He's gonna share some insights about Criterium racing coming very soon. Additionally, I wanna do some content that's gonna enable this channel to get a little bit more discovered. I think one, it should be educational for you guys if you're interested in bike reviews and comparisons. But for the channel, it just enables me to reach a wider audience because when you're doing bike reviews, people type that into the search term in YouTube. So it enables you to get discovered through search. And also what I've noted with the Bike Chaser YouTube, when we've done comparison and versus videos, they typically get picked up as a suggested video by YouTube. So it just means I can sort of start getting a wider reach. And I'm going to Specialize HQ on Thursday this week. I'm hoping they'll give us a bit of a tour and show us some of their new 2019 range. So I think that'll be a pretty cool video. But additionally, I'm picking up their brand new 2019 Venge. So I'm gonna do a, a review, a written review on Bike Chaser, but a video review on this channel about the Venge. And then I'm gonna do a comparison, my $3,000 Alay versus the $12,000 Venge, what's the difference? So that's another piece that I'll be doing. Uh, two more things I quickly mentioned, Bike Chaser. I've done two videos about Bike Chaser. I've got one more coming, well, I will continue to do more, but one that I've got in mind, which is, I'm gonna share with you, we're on a path, we're about to do something really big, or attempt to do something really big, and I'm gonna bring you in on that. And the final one is the Hell Ride. So I've done content in the past on Bike Chaser about the Hell Ride, and I know there's a lot of content out there on different platforms, cycling tips, and a whole bunch of others about the Hell Ride, but I still think there's a massive gap and that's why I've got one more video planned. And that is an educational video for people out there that are thinking of doing the Hell Ride for the first time. I remember when I started cycling 10 years ago, I wanted to do the Hell Ride, I was looking for stuff, couldn't find anything, just went and did it, I wasn't ready to do it. So I wanna create a video that's educational for people that are thinking about doing the Hell Ride and are looking for, for ways to educate themselves before they go do it. So that's it over the next few months. Any Feedback, ideas, let me know below. The third question, I had a couple of people ask me this, how many of my subscribers unsubscribed after I did the Enema video? And the Enema was a, a video I did as part of my fasting, and the Enema is a rectal cleanse which you do, which helps with the detoxification process. And I didn't do anything super crass in that, it was quite discreet, but I do go through the whole process of the Enema. And the video itself, the analytics on YouTube tell me that no one subscribed that actually watched the video, but I did have a couple of unsubscribers very shortly after from the homepage, which suggests to me that, that maybe they got alerted to the fact that I'd done this video and it wasn't up their alley. That's fine, I'm not here to please everyone. I did it because I had a whole bunch of people ask me during the process about Enema, and I thought it would be, for those people that are interested, it would be an insightful one, and I also think it's a good topic to talk about. It's become a very important tool as part of the detoxification process. I feel unbelievable as well after that whole process. So I think it's a really cool thing to educate yourself on. So that's it. Now to the giveaway. So I wanna do some pretty cool giveaways on this channel longer term, but right now I haven't earned a salary through Bike Chaser for 18 months, and we're not earning heaps of money on this YouTube channel yet. So I've gone with a something that I can give away that I've got easy access to, but I also think that you will get good value out of as being a cyclist, somebody who's into your health and well-being. And that is these essential oils right here. My wife runs an essential oil business through doTERRA. I use these essential oils for health and well-being and also for use on the bike. And I did a video actually about peppermint oil, which I've got here, which I'll link to below this one, which explains how I use peppermint oil. But essentially what we've got here is we've got one called Easy Air. So this is a blend of different oils which is really good for your respiratory system. So if you're going for a ride, you can basically put a couple of drops and put it on your Lycra here, and it really opens up your airways. Um, another way you can do it, if you've got a diffuser, um, which is this thing, back, this thing back here, you can put five drops in a diffuser, you put it by your bed and you blow it in the evening and just keeps your sinuses super clear so you get much more air into your airways whilst you're sleeping, better night's rest. Really awesome for people that have sinus issues, get blocked airways or even snore. 
So I've got three of those to give away. The second one is peppermint oil. So this one here, now I've done a video on this as I mentioned before, I'll link to it below if you wanna get more details. But peppermint, I use this two drops under your tongue before you go for a ride and it opens up your whole airways and you feel it for your whole ride. It really enables you, in my opinion, and there's been studies done about this to get more air into your lungs. Additionally, in a diffuser, like I mentioned before, put five drops, blow it in your environment, particularly like if you've got an office environment, because it's very good for concentration. Um, if you're doing a hot chockey at night, you can put a drop into your hot chockey to get a peppermint hot chockey going. And I also put this in my shampoo because I suffer from hair loss, but if you've got dandruff, even if it's like a nice cooling sensation in the morning after your shower, um, this stuff is awesome. So peppermint oil. So these oils as well, I should mention, range between sort of 40 to $60. So they're not cheap. And this one here, so this one's almost $60. This one's called Ice Blue. And if you've used Deep Heat before, it's kind of like Deep Heat, but Deep Heat in terms of the ingredients and what's in it is junk in comparison to this. It's a whole bunch of these awesome essential oils that heat up the muscle, but also infiltrate into the muscle and help with aches and pains. And this stuff actually works really well. It's called Ice Blue. So I've got three of each. So I think the best way I can run this competition is first in best dressed. So if you want one of these essential oils, I'm gonna give, there's nine of them. Tell me which one you want and explain why. So you might say, I would love the peppermint oil and I wanna try putting it under my tongue before I go for a ride. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna go through the comments. First in, best dressed, as I mentioned. Unless you haven't given me a reason, just give me a reason at least. So first in, best dressed, and then I'll reach out to you, I'll get your address, and I'll send you the essential oil. And then I'd love to hear your feedback on how you found the essential oil and your use of that essential oil. But for now, that's it. Just wanted to thank you, explain a couple of things, and I'll catch you in the next video.